Cushing Syndrome in the Elderly, data from the European Registry on Cushing Syndrome, by Amadru et al. Background. Cushing Syndrome, CS, is a collection of symptoms and signs that occur due to excess cortisol in the body. The cause can be ACTH dependent or independent. Typical features of CS include weight gain, muscle wasting and fatigue. It's also related to comorbidities such as diabetes and cardiovascular disease. As life expectancy has increased and the general population is growing older, the mean age of CS cases have also increased. Older age at diagnosis is associated with worse self-reported quality of life and elevated mortality. Despite this, data on diagnosis and management of CS in older patients is scarce. Aims of the study. Describe any age-related differences in clinical characteristics, diagnostic approach, management strategies, treatment outcome and mortality in patients with CS, included in the European Registry on Cushing Syndrome. Methods. This was a cohort study looking at data from nearly 1,800 patients. Patients were subgrouped by etiology, with the majority having pituitary-dependent CS, and they were classified as older or younger according to their HU criteria. Results. Compared to younger patients, older patients presented with less typical features of CS, such as a lower BMI and less skin changes. However, they had a higher prevalence of comorbidities and complications. Differences in patients with pituitary-dependent CS were further analysed. In terms of diagnosis, Urinary free cortisol measurement supported the diagnosis less frequently in older patients. Older patients with pituitary dependent CS more frequently received cortisol lowering medication and radiotherapy first line, while surgery was the preferred management approach in younger patients. When transphenoidal surgery was performed, the remission rate was lower in older patients. Conclusion and importance These results show that there are age related differences in the presentation of CS and these should be taken into account when suspecting hypercortisolism in the elderly. Older patients were also more likely to be conservatively treated. This data may help reduce the delay in diagnosis of CS, which has been associated with increased morbidity and mortality. To read the full article, please follow the link provided or scan the QR code.